no. Liverpool forward Diogo Jota has outlined the pride that both he and his Portuguese teammates feel as they prepare to begin their Euro 2020 campaign later tonight. Portugal won the tournament in France five years ago, beating the hosts by a goal to nil in the final in Paris. Back then, Jota was just 19, and that summer had signed for Atletico Madrid, a team he would never make a competitive appearance for. Five years on, though, the Liverpool man is expected to be a crucial member of his national team this time around. Lining up alongside the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo, Bruno Fernandes and João Felix, Jota is expected to play a big role as his side aim to beat Hungary before they face Germany on Saturday and then France a week on Wednesday. I think there is no pressure but a huge pride for what we achieved in 2016, Jota said in a press conference held ahead of the current holder's opening game. Being champions of Europe makes everyone proud and of course the opponents are aware and really want to defeat the current champions and our first opponents, Hungary, will play at home. It's an extra motivation with fans in the stadium, something that we're not used to anymore, especially in this last season. So we know the difficulties that this causes and we have to overcome it all. It is important to start with a win. Shortly after the Portugal vs Hungary game, Germany take on France in the other game in the group. Liverpool fans will be keeping a keen eye across that one in the hope of seeing Florian Neuhaus in action. The Borussia Mönchengladbach midfielder is a player Liverpool have looked at and scouted, but the Echo understands that they're not necessarily going to target a midfielder this summer in the transfer window. Neuhaus has tough competition for places in the German midfield, where he'll compete with Toni Kroos, Ilkay Gundogan and Leon Goretzka for a place on the field. Neuhaus will be hoping to play against Jota on Saturday as Germany take on Portugal in the Allianz Arena in Munich.